Hello everyone and welcome to my next video. This video is going to be a, the first part of a next solo guide um, using range and melee. At the moment, as you can see, I'm wearing Sirenic and Ascensions with a Malevolent and Dry Gore switch in my inventory. Now, this is the highest level gear setup that you can get, uh, but it's not essential. You can replace the uh, Malevolent with Torva or Tetsu. I would recommend Torva because it gives you the damage bonus. You can replace the Sirenic with Pernix uh, or Death Lotus. Again, recommending the Pernix because it gives you the damage bonus. And you can replace the Ascensions with Chaotic Crossbows. The only thing you can't really replace is the Drygors because you will be meleeing the Blood Phase and you need to do as much damage possible on the Blood Phase. And without Drygors, you're going to really, really struggle. So, moving on to the stats, you're going to want to be pretty pretty much max to do this. You can do it with lower stats, but obviously the higher you are, the better you're going to be. So let's take a look at the inventory. Um, there are a few things that are essential, and there are a few things that you can sub out if you don't want to use them. Because, for, uh, as you can see, I have got I wear a Sardomans Murmur with my range setup, and a Sardomans Whisper with my melee setup. Now, what you can just do is wear an Amulet of Fury or the Dragon Rider Amulet, because... Um, if you don't want to be bothered switching, switching, but um, the extra two per two points two percent two point four percent melee crit or range crit, I feel really does help speed up the kills, and is worth it if you are relatively fast and good at switching. As you can see in my inventory, I've also got six six age circuit, um, and in this again an extra two point seven percent melee crit is just again helps speed up the kills quite a bit. Now, if you are not very good or new to Nex, you can get rid of these two items and just camp a Dragon Rider Amulet and a Ring of Vigor, uh, which will make it a little bit easier for you. But once you get more experience, you can start upping your damage uh, per second by introducing these two items. So, I also have in my inventory a Dragon Kite Shield. Now, any shield will do. I just pick a Dragon Kite Shield because I solo, uh, oh, I got this one as a drop myself and I just like to use it. It doesn't really need to be a good shield because um, I only use it for resonance, uh, the healing ability, and to do uh, ultimate abilities such as barricade and immortality. So the level of the shield doesn't really matter that much. Now, obviously, you can upgrade it to an Ellie or to one of the level 90 kite shields if you want to, but it doesn't really matter that much. So, what else do I have in my inventory? I've got one overload flask, four dose, uh, sorry, one overload, four dose, one prayer renewal, and one adrenaline flask. Flask, why do I keep playing the same flask? Vial. Four super restore flasks, two sorry, and brew flasks, three rock tails, a portent of item protection, and the rest I just fill up with attuned portents of restoration, nine. Now, these attuned portents of restoration aren't, aren't crucial, but I would highly recommend them. Um, if you have 77 divin divination, you can get the uh, attuned portents that heal 1,600 HP. I would recommend to use those. Any of the lower than that, it's not worth using, and you should just bring uh, rock tails to fill up these inventory spaces here. Um, now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ranging the, the shadow phase, and what is really important is that you wear a melee pair of gloves and a melee pair of boots. This will stop next coming to stand uh, melee distance from you uh, and she'll keep hitting you with melee attacks and you'll get damaged by the constant damage that's done by the um, the darkening of the room. So you have to wear gloves and boots that are melee otherwise you, you won't get past shadow, you're just going to take too much damage. So that's everything for this part, once you have um, the recommended inventory and set up um, you are ready to kill Max and take a look at my guide for the uh, smoke phase on how to do that and uh, hopefully this guide has helped and I'll see you in the next video.